What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X. I'm doing some overseas fun right now. I went over here just to check up on like everything going on over here because I ain't over here that often. So while I was over here, I said, you know what? I'm over here while the family's out vacationing and whatnot. I'm gonna run me a load just to get you know remember the swing of things over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get inside. It's a nice, warm, a little chilly outside. We are headed to. Don't know. B district. I, like I said, I don't do this enough, and that's why I'm not over here that often. I don't know half of what's saying, but I know we got a thing of potatoes, and it's 49,000 pounds. So, yep. So, let me do this paperwork real quick. Fill this on out. Check the map real quick. Everything's good, good to go. Push this break in, throw it in second, and let's head on out of here. Check all that way. Yeah, it's good to be back over here for a while. It's just less congested overseas, in my opinion. Back in the States, all you think you feel or whatever you want to call it is industrial everywhere you look there's buildings business whatnot and everything else like that sometimes it's nice to just be out in the open it's very nice scenery everything else so hoping when i get back i can um finally buy a new truck because remember back i said i was gonna buy a new truck so i parked the freight liner there sitting at the house and hopefully when i get back i'll run over to the volvo dealer and see what they got Hopefully they have a nice Volvo, and if I'm lucky, I can get it. Well, ain't no luck. I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna spend the extra money. I'm gonna get them to paint it a nice blue color. Cause I haven't had a blue truck in a long time. My truck has always been white or black. I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna buy a new truck, I worked hard. I just came from Minnesota and everything else like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a nice blue truck. So, yes, I am. Hopefully, I'll do that when I get back. So, I hope this road that I'm going on, cause I looked at the map, it doesn't look like a highway, it looks like a little back road, but hopefully it ain't too windy because I don't want to be having to swing around too much with all this weight. Hopefully, hopefully you can only hope. Yeah, this truck's working. There's a lot of weight on it, I know. See that turbo thing, that gauge under the RPMs if you're looking at it. That thing is maxed out right now. She's giving it all she has to get this thing moving. But she's holding her own, so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So how is everybody's day going today? Hope everyone's day is good. Mine's doing pretty decent. Pretty decent. Like I said, I'm over here overseas on vacation, so I can't complain. My trucking industry over here has had some hiccups here and there, but the person I left in charge, her name's Molly, she's handling it very well, I give her credit, so that's why I said, well, let me come over, just kind of help her out a little bit, but everything's going good for me over here, so, my missus, she's doing good, she's doing very well, thankfully, I'm glad of that, I try and keep her happy, I don't succeed a lot of times, I'm sure, but I at least try, so, and the little, little Sarah, she's doing great still cute as a button walking talking so you know once you get to that stage it's a little bit more of a pain because you can't just put them somewhere and let them play with something no it's like what's this what's that what are you doing what are we gonna do i'm hungry i got poop oh lord it goes on and on and on but love it to death so you just kind of sit down uh-huh uh-huh no, i don't know i don't know i don't know it's a rat let it go so but yep everything's going good with me so it's so nice and peaceful out here. Nice and peaceful. I'm glad the radio, the CB, up here ain't going off. Because I remember back when I was in the States, when I was driving, coming from Minnesota and out of Maryland and all that. 
the radio was just blowing up. People talking a lot of bull crap. And after a while, I just shut it off. I'm like, all right, well, if y'all ain't going to talk something important like roadblocks or something like that, I don't want to know. So shift one more gear. I'm already speeding, but that way I'm not so high RPM having to burn more fuel. I need to get fuel as it is. I didn't even check that before I pulled out. I'm sure on the way over there's probably at least a dozen or at least four. to figure out how to put some music because see when I'm doing this and I'm not commentary I have music going listening it's relaxed or it's peaceful but with the licensing and everything else and rights about uploading stuff I know as soon as I put something on they'll kick it out so I'm like well why waste the time putting it on so and I've heard somebody say if you credit them then you can put it but I, I mean, I'm like you know what it's, it's just not worth doing all that it's not worth doing all that so Beautiful night, though. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to run this load, and then hopefully, well, not, you know, hopefully, after I'm done, I'm going to get back with the family. We're going on vacation for a little bit longer. Then I'm going back to the States. Then, like I said, I'm going to buy the new truck and hopefully get some money going there again. So, we will see. I mean, like I said, you can't predict everything, but that is my plan as of right now, so... That is what I'm trying. I need to call my boy Kevin back in the States. I haven't talked to him in a while. I haven't done a Kevin load in a long time. He ain't mad at me or nothing. I mean, it's not like I work for him or anything. I mean, he's just a good friend of mine. He let me be, knew I drive a truck. And he was like, well, I got a trucking company. You come on over, I'll let you get some sometime. But it's not like he's got to have me under his payroll or anything. He just kind of does it under the table. But it still gets what he needs accomplished. And he still gets paid. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, maybe I'll call him when I get back to the States or after I buy this truck. He might be able to hook me up with something good for the debut of the Volvo if I buy a Volvo. Like I said, I got to go see. Yep, yep, yep. Four hours ago. That's why I said I'd do a little short one just to show y'all. Just to show y'all, because like I said, I'm not over here that often. Maybe when it comes to be like more summertime, I might bring the family back over here and we'll just vacation here for a couple of months. And I mean, come on, how great is it? You can go on vacation and be still getting paid. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. That's why I got something over here like this. So I have this fuel right there. So you know what? I'm going to stop now because I don't know if there's another one coming up anytime soon. So turn this cruise off. So let me throw the engine brake on. Now, where is the fuel? There it is. Oh, that's a nice one. A nice big one. You don't see too many of these too often. Turn right here. Throw it in neutral, brake on, turn the lights out, turn the engine off, get out, walk to this side so I can get the, start filling her up. Glub, 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 glub. That's one thing I do like about when I run with Kevin. He covers the fuel expenses because it's his equipment, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, I think she's topped the Oh, shit. Spit a little on my shoe. Sorry. She topped off, though. 144 gallons. So but that should definitely get us where we need to go and get us there and have plenty for extra. So jump back in. Fire up. Get this heat going again. Turn the lights on. Break this down. And yeah, that should be good. Release the brake. Throw it in second. Because I know she's got, I think it's a 12 speed in her. So she's got enough power to at least get started in anywhere between second and four. So. Get rolling. Get rolling here. Ruling. What is ruling? I ain't. 
A villain? I'm surprised there's not a lot of traffic out here. I'm surprised that thing was empty, but oh well. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Makes it for an easy, smooth ride. Yep, 881 gallons. No, sorry, 184 gallons, 881 miles is how far I can go. And like I said, I only got another 177 to go. So, yeah, like I said, plenty extra. So, yeah, get the moving. There's somebody. Like I said, I'm surprised not more traffic. speed. I never really go above 10. Let me see. Yep, 11. 12. Yep, 12 speed. Now let me drop back down to 10 before I mess around and have this truck struggling. Yep, it's a nice night though. Very nice night. These are the kind of nights I like where you can just sit back, relax, got the music playing, not too much traffic you ain't got to be worried about. And if it was, like, ideal, I'd have a very light load so I wouldn't be burning so much fuel. But, hey, I'm not, you can't have everything you want exactly how you want it. So I'll take what I can get. So, got this turn coming up ahead. Oh, it's one of those left-handed turns, too. All right, let me get on over. I don't reason I'm Jake breaking to kind of save on my brakes so I don't have to be slamming on them as hard to try and get it to slow this much weight. Normally I don't use the Jake brake that often, but you Jake brake right, brake right, downshift right, just like that. See, I've got plenty of distance to do it. Glad there's no one behind me though. I feel bad I'm kind of skipping around the gears, doubling, but the high RPMs makes it easier for it to pick up again, so. I can't see crap, it's so dark out here. I'm going the right way. Watch this swing on the trailer, yep, good to go. Shift her up again. I probably could shift one more time, but I'll let her be easy getting up this hill. Because I ain't got nobody behind me complaining or nothing, so they can wait, bump them. Even if there was somebody, they would still wait, bump them. There we go, shift her up and you know, I'm moving down this way, I believe. Let me look at the bigger one. We're going east now. Yeah, we're headed east, so. And I believe we got one. Oh, a total up ahead. I probably should have checked that when I looked at the map. Yeah, I think we're going to be going east for a while and south again. Have an easy pass or nothing like that, so I pay my toes with cash. Not that far. There we go. And we are on again. I ain't hitting nothing. I didn't think I did. It's all good back there, so. Throw these gears around and we'll be good. I might talk to the missus, depending on, um, she wants to stay here a little bit longer and sit. Well, no, we can't stay too much longer. Because it's Sunday. We already said so. It could be out of school. Well, Sunday here. Back in the States, I think it's Friday or Saturday. I don't know. But I know when we go back, we got to get Sarah back in school. So we can't stay with so much longer. But we'll see. I was going to say, if we stay a little bit longer, it might get me in quick glance up here because I'm up here they do a lot of freelance stuff all you gotta do is just walk into one of their big hubs show you CDL that you got insurance and they'll let you go from there so I might do one of their freelance things we'll see though depends on what happens depends on what happens glad I got a few what I did I mean, I'm sure I would have made it to that one, but I was pushing a little too close for me. So, 56 miles. 
That's how fast I'm going. 55, 56. Three hours to go. Start slowing it down. Still not a fan of cab over engines like this or trucks rather like this, but hey, that's what they use over here, and I'm use whatever it is to make it work. So starting first this time just to help out the engine a little. That was a very short tow road. I'm not sure the point of having like what a 20 mile tow road or something like tow road or something like that that doesn't really do nothing. But oh well, just another way for the country and everything to make money. That's all that is, taxes and all of that. So yeah, but I think here's where I thought so. We're about to go south, south towards I don't know. Like I said, I can't read these signs to save my life. If I ever had to ask directions over here, as a matter of fact, no, not ever. I tried a couple of times. And big stuff like Paris and Berlin, that was fine. But trying to say stuff like coin, coin, quick coin, I don't know. I couldn't pronounce it then either. And people were like, no. So I just had to kind of point to a map, find it on them, and be like, here, here, I want to go here. They'd be like, oh, and they tell me where to go as best they could, so... Yep, yep, make it work. Slow up here a little bit. Damn, shift a couple. Take it easy on this turn. Here we go. Yeah, like I said, not having a lot of traffic out here tonight is helping out tremendously. Tremendously. Hoping when we get to where we gotta go and we get to the dock, there ain't somebody already there and nothing. I can just squeeze on in, go talk to him and squeeze on in. Three hours ago and dropping. Glad it's a drive in trailer I have too. That means I ain't got. Cause I've done flatbeds and stuff over here, and it's just more you gotta worry about. This is it's preloaded, pallets not too highly stacked. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. That's why I jumped on it as fast as I could. I couldn't assign that paper fast enough for this one, so. Set the cruise here at 55. Oh lord, that is a windy road up ahead. And I thought I saw that on the map, but I think I might have just overlook. Okay, just gotta be careful. Name of the game, be attentive, be cautious. So I'm already kicking off the cruise now. And it's a one way, okay. Okay then. Let me go ahead and get on over here. Slow down a little. And it's hilly. Even more fun. Slow down a little more. Don't jackknife though. Woo! Almost lost it. There we go. She's struggling getting up here, but she gonna make it. Got that turbo working overtime though, I can hear it and I can tell. Turn on my high beams, because I can't see that great. Easy around this curve. These are the kind of things that make your butthole get a little tight. Nobody's coming. I'd hate to have my 
High beam still on blind them, especially on this road. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna ship the gear. I'm gonna just let it creep up on them. Um, Cause when does this thing need to be there by? It's Sunday at 10 a.m. and it's midnight now, so I should be there. And I'll get there around 3 a.m. Draining on me. Let me pull it back. Pull it back one more. Yep, almost done with this little obstacle course, I call it. So, a little bit more. I think get up this last hill and we'll be good. See, I would shift, but I don't want to make her lose her momentum. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby, you're struggling. I can hear you. I can feel you, but you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, she got it. And we're flattened out now, so we should be good now. Well, that was a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Awakening, I guess. <laughs> Cause I'm just going straight and turning and stuff like that. That was going to be a little tiring, but that definitely perked up my senses. Oh Lord, and we got another one coming up. Well, that's what I get for not checking the map fully. No, I, I remember, I think when I checked the map, I said this was the best way to go. Because any other way would have been out of route. And I think so much out of route that might have been had me a little delayed with having to slow down and everything else. So, throw this Jake on. Yep, that's why I'm getting quiet. I'm being very cautious. This is a hilly road. Yeah, I think she's about to she's about to even out a little bit, but I think we got a little bit more coming up on again. So we'll be all uh, good though. I've been doing this a long time, so you know what to do and what stupid mistakes to try and avoid. So I had to get a little fast for me, so I'll slow it down. Use that trailer brake too. I was checking to see if it still worked. I'm guessing some people I know, they blowing at me like they know me, so it's too dark for me. To oh shit, that's probably why they were blowing. My damn headlights are still on blast. My bad. My bad. I forgot all about that. Oh well. It happens. Well, since they're not there, I'm going to put it back. And I know they were... <laughs> and I'm sure they were pissed off because I don't have just the ones at the bottom. I got four big behind bulbs at the top of this truck too. So I'm sure coming around the corner looked like just blind and light at that point. My bad. Oh well. Almost done. An hour and 19. Be there by 2 a.m. That worked out great because I can get a cab, go ride on back to the family, and spend the rest of the night with them. I'm just playing with it now. Put this Jake on though. I miss Kyle this time. What is going on with my speech today? Oh lord. Well, now I'm going to slow down a lot because we got a left turn coming up ahead and these train tracks. So. Yeah, hey, we're good. Now I should a little more and get this speed up a little bit. Turn off my bikes before I, somebody else probably. Come. I'm sure they were cussing me out, but oh well. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. Take it a little easy. There we go. Then we got another one coming up here on the right. Damn, 
downshift here, downshift for more. I believe this is the last big turn we'll have to make as far as highways or anything. Cause I got my in, in dash display right here showing me like the big big picture so turn my bites back on I can't see when, when it comes to these like dark hills and everything yeah she's struggling I told you that damn near 50,000 is making her work hard but she's getting it I'm not even gonna drop it for it I'm gonna let it ride in this gear Key things to drive in, especially over here. Cause they don't take but a split second to lose her. Get down, shift a little bit. Get them RPMs up so I can get control even better. I think we are on the home stretch, baby. I believe so. No more hills, no more windiness. How the hell can pronounce that? I mean, I guess if you, I guess the natives here are used to it, but I, I don't. That's about the best I could get out of that bistrica, maybe, but that's about it. So, I mean, anybody watching, if this is where you live, please tell me how to pronounce this properly. Because I feel bad. I butcher names over here so bad. So, so bad. I'm out, but I always get to where I need to go. Let me slow down here because we got to turn. Turn my bites off, too. Told you, home stretch, baby. I think we got one left. Yep, one left up here. Oh, well, okay. One left up here, and we'll be good. Damn, automatic cameras, but still. What is the speed? Let me do here. 32, no, 31. And they gave me a ticket. I was doing like 39. Damn, picky, picky, picky. Hey, there's a garage over here. I might buy it. I didn't know there was a garage so close. And I need to start building up more garages, more trucks, more workers, more money. So I might, after I drop this load, buy that garage. Turn left right here. And it is right here on the left, I believe. I guess they, I remember when they talked to me, they said just pick a dock, so I guess I'll go to that dock. They got illuminated for me, fancy technology and whatnot. A little bit more. A little bit more. Not used to, I say you got, there's a very big difference between cab overturn radiuses and conventional, like I drive in the States, turn radius, so. And not to mention, these trailers ain't the same either. I'm used to in the States, 53 foot trailers. These, I think, maybe 42, maybe even shorter. There we go. And 
That is a successful thing. Now let me jump back inside to my high beams on. Because I want to see how mad those guys were probably at me. Oh no, I don't. I miss my. Hmm. I thought my high beams would be on at the top. Let me jump back inside here, turn this out. Turn all my lights out. Yeah, I think I'll mess with that for a little while I'm here because I'm sure it's a wiring thing that ain't hooked up right. But, yep, go in here, tell them I'm here, drop this load, and be done. Thank you for riding with me. Let me blow the horn one time for you. Oh, hold on. I forgot I got the access. You got to hear from the outside. Let me get out for you. Again, like I said, thank you for riding with me. Did not think that through. I can't blow the horn and be out here. Oh, well. It was a good thought, though. All right, thanks for riding with me.